What is up everyone, in this video I'm going to cover why I switched from VS Code to Vim once again to NeoVim by the way and um, I'm gonna show you uh, my setup, my dev setup, how I use these things and why you should probably also do that but before we start I want to cover real quick this thing, let me put it up on the screen it's the full-time GoDev program um, that I'm basically uh, continuing and I'm uh, making these videos at the speed of sound it's in pre-sale right now Go take a look at fulltimegodev.com. It basically has everything you need to become a professional in the space, especially in Golang. But it's basically, once you know this, you can basically write every single language. Uh, we do Golang introduction. We mastering concurrency. We're building APIs, real life projects. We're building microservices, gateways, uh, uh, inter-service communication, all that stuff. You get a free bonus, the blockchain from scratch, which is not on YouTube. And then uh, I'm going to cover uh, how to land a job because a lot of people um, make a mistake with their resumes and interviews. They make a big mistake and I'm going to um, help you with that. Check it out, guys. Uh, this video is not sponsored. I'm not monetized at all. So this is basically uh, my way of wasting your time to promote my own shenanigans, right? Okay, cool, let's uh, delete this thing, uh, like this, pretty fine. Let me see, is everything okay? Yes, I'm recording. All right, so basically um, I swiped, I swiped, I swapped from um, VS Code, like a, a lot of people that watch my channel, I'm using VS Code for a long time, uh, but I swapped to uh, NeoVim once again. I basically used NeoVim since I started programming. Uh, but I swapped to VS Code because I think the layout of VS Code is a little bit, not the layout, but some things are a little bit better, but it's just too slow for me. It's too slow. It's getting, again, VS Code is getting way too big for what I use it for, right? That, that's that's a thing. Um, yeah, so that's, it's slow. It's searching is, is, is not that ideal anymore for me. Uh, I think uh, once you set up uh, NeoVim, uh, at your at your own likings, uh, searching everything, fuzzy finding is way better than VS Code, way faster, uh, and all that stuff, right? And 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 I can actually uh, you need to try it for yourself. If you let's say code eight hours, or pff, it's maybe too much, code four hours in VS Code, and by the end of your coding session in VS Code, you basically go to NeoVim or Vim or whatever, and you type there. You could see it's it's going to be much smoother. It's that tiny bit of re response um, that does it for me, right? It's, it's, it gives me a more um, native experience, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, what's important for me? What's my setup? Actually, I have no setup at all, to be honest. Uh, I don't use any special things, no co-pilots, no, uh, no nothing, no snippets, to be honest. Uh, a couple things for me that's important as a developer is... Um, if you use Vim, it's basically, don't use your mouse. It's for me very important. It's a no-go because it's slow. It's uh, it's bad, right? You see this mouse thingy, let's put up here. Let's put up, maybe I should unplug it, but I'm not gonna do it, right? So just throw away your mouse and um, you're gonna have you're gonna have a slow slow time in the beginning. It's gonna be very slow and very frustrating, but after a couple of weeks, months, years, you're gonna be much faster. And um, like I always say, you're gonna invest time right now to buy time back later. That's, uh, don't be, don't fall for the instant gratification bullshit, right? So what's very important for me is how I navigate. I basically navigate with a simple uh, J, J key, J key, H, L keys, right? Uh, lift, left, right, up, down, all that stuff. Um, basic stuff. Uh, very important for me is toggle terminal, right? You see, it's toggle terminal. What are my key bindings? It doesn't really matter. And I also made for you, for the people that are interested, I made this, right? It's basically, um, if you go to github.com slash NDM, you're gonna find my uh, GG's NeoVim configuration, simple, but yet effective. It has an init at Lua and everything is inside of here. What I use is just 173 lines and that's it, right? No big of a deal. Boom, let's delete this. So like I said, very important for me is something I use all the time and that's a toggle terminal, right? Like I said, key bindings doesn't really matter. You need to configure it yourself. I'm using a leader J to toggle it, right? Very simple. The next thing I'm using all the time is basically split screen. Very important, split screens, moving left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, maybe you wanna copy this remote thingy and paste it again above 
the same thing not why sir why but it's it is what it is you can delete stuff uh open up multiple things let's wait let's save it here for example uh, let's open up something else uh, maybe engine test or something very important um uh, like this is the engine file and this is the engine test file so you could basically uh debug your test while having your implementation on the other side right and swap back and fourth very important split screen and you can split as much as you want right you see but you also need to basically delete them uh if boom split screen very 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 important i'm using that all the time the next very important thing is your fuzzy finder right because i see a lot of people opening up their sidebar and then they're basically going through their folders clicking with their mouse scrolling looking like a fucking mole don't do that just use a fuzzy finder right my key binding is leader p or alt p it's the same thing boom and uh, i can basically start typing for example i want to find a response or something a response you see it's already here uh, i click enter and i'm basically in my response file very simple right if i need to go back to engine boom and i'm at engine if i need to go to registry for example registry hop, i'm in registry right and you're still you're still finding your first file you know what i mean so don't be like that right don't be like uh, all your colleagues be a chat use vim first you find the next thing um what i'm what it's much better than vs code is basically finding right if you want to find stuff in vs code you need to do uh i'm not quite sure what the key binding in vs code is it's probably something like Control f or something or Control shift f and then you can find uh, something in in your file and it's just clunky it's bad it's it's garbage so how do i do this i do it with leader v and i can do leader v and i can search for example for um uh, i don't know registry uh, or something and then you could see uh, when i type it's basically uh listing me results right and then i can basically toggle scroll or whatever move again with uh with the j key j key keys up and down and find registry here boom click it and i'm here let's find something else what do we have let's say add for example i'm at the top of my file and i want to find the add function i can basically do f and then say add and then you see it's already there press enter and i'm at this function already right isn't that amazing that's finding stuff for example i want to see proc all right to see uh, okay this one or this one or this one boom and i'm here very simple finding stuff much better than vs code um yes the next important thing is fuzzy finding not quite sure if i already mentioned this if i do leader p i already did this right yes fine man i'm getting old is there something else like i said uh, a lot of people are asking me to make a video of my setup but there is no setup <laughs> it's, it is what it is it's it's very minimalistic um oh yeah something very important and i already made a video about vs code and it's basically the same thing but in vim but it is what it is what i do is for example uh let me find something let me move this cursor out of the way give me anxiety where is get where do i use get by the way so remove here um i'm trying to find a good a good way to show you guys what we could do for example i'm i'm here at engine right so this i'm at the registry right and the registry has an engine which is a pointer to an engine and i want to go to this engine i can basically just put my cursor on this engine and do gd like go to definition very important i'm using this all the time if i do gd and we're already here at engine you see very simple uh, i want to have this event stream gd i'm at the event stream you know what i mean this takes an event stream funk gg i'm at the event stream funk very simple um and you could do it with i'm um, trying to find maybe like this for example you're using something from the standard library in golang like this log for example and you want to see what does this log do right you could basically do gd right and you're at um mutex easy peasy right is there something else um actually no guys actually no i don't use anything else no fancy stuff basic shenanigans basic shenanigans i just use a simple terminal like this right and um for git i just do a git init git add git push git pull git checkout git lock uh, no fancy uis 
just everything inside of um and by the way look at this if you want to start up vs code for example it takes long right and i don't have any plugins but i can exp i can imagine that you have 100,000 plugins uh, in your vs code and uh, i want to just open up this hollywood folder maybe i want to do a pull uh, pull, re pull review pull request review or something i just do vim boom and i'm already in it right i'm already here and i could do ggq because uh, yeah it is what it is right and we are here uh, the only thing you can see right now this is basically um this syntax highlighting is is much better for most of people but i don't like this i don't like this uh it, it's using tree sitter and and tree sitter makes this a little bit more colorized and i don't like it so i always do a ts disable what's going on here ts disable highlights i'm i'm, I'm i like it i like it simple <laughs> hey I don't know why, but, but like I said, I won the Nobel Prize for simplicity. I think complexity is something we don't want. Life is already complex enough. Coding is already complex enough. Just keep it simple. Um, and that's it. Yeah, guys, like I said, that's basically it. Uh, don't be... And by the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter. Don't be too focused because I see a lot of people... Um, they are basically too focused with their color team, which is Groovebox, right? The color team is Groovebox, the most asked question of all time on the Anthony GG's channel. Um, but don't be too focused on the aesthetics, right? A lot of people are too focused on aesthetics. Color team, this, that, font, ligatures, uh, Vim, VS Code, plugins, more plugins. Don't do that. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what works for you. Right. What is productive? What is what makes you productive? What makes you solve problems? Right. That's the only thing. Uh, that's the only thing that, that that's important. But if you think that Vim or NeoVim or or uh, using the Vim motions or something can help you be more productive over time, you should definitely do it. But don't be too focused on getting your cheap dopamine from color teams. Right, I was, and I'm telling this because I was just like that when I started. Um, sometimes seeing somebody on YouTube or seeing some colleague programming in a cool color team in Vim, and you do the same, you get this shot of dopamine, and you get motivated to program. But I think that's uh, it's not bad, but I think that's not the the main driver for you to program your color team and your aesthetics. I think. Um, there should be other other things uh, to motivate you to program, right? That's basically it. Uh, very simple. Like I said, it's on GitHub. Check my GitHub. And if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, consider subscribing. Jump into my Discord community. Check out my Patreon for advanced goaling videos. And check out the full-time Godev if you want to learn the whole shebang. Um, it's a cool program because I made it, right? All right, cool. Thanks for watching this video. And I see you in my live stream or next video. Peace.